As again guys and welcome to another video today I will show you how to set up Forza Horizon 3 with the G29 with the clutch acceleration and brake pedal also including a fully functional shifter 6 speed and a reverse anyway let's get started I left the link in the description to download this program made by one of the users on Forza which I will leave the link to the thread as well in the description and also you're gonna have all the descriptions that this program supports uh, what will this program actually support to uh, make it but make it more functional than a game allows you to so let's begin if you wanna download the Forza Universal Controller just extract it like you would do with any other program and it's as simple as that as you go your wheel already connected set up everything is ready to if you would play any other game it's ready to go simply just double click that run press yes now just hit the detect button it should know everything that is connected to your computer so if you uh, for example you know so it's my logitech g29 pedal mode separate clutch yes 15 buttons on no steering wheel d-pad and a h uh, hedge pattern shifter is connected so now you want to what you want to do is just hit the simple button enable it will say the device enabled successfully okay step one is done since you hit that button and it's enabled you just close the program down that's that's it nothing else to do with it okay guys so now we actually in a game uh this is my beautiful mazda rx7 rx7 Anyway, this is not this. Well, we're not going to talk about this Mazda at the moment. But anyway, let's take it out for drive. Pretty much stock. I didn't do much to it. I just have a nice body kit on it. <laughs> yes, I'm trying to replicate the same as from uh, Tokyo Drift. Don't do that. And it's floating. Why not? Welcome back, bro. There's an ongoing championship that you're taking part in. Okay. Would you like me to set a route to the next race event? So. For you? As you notice straight away, the vehicle is actually in neutral. Uh, and then there you go. I'm gonna keep the river and go actually through all the gear, jump the gears. So let's go from first to sixth, fifth. Okay, the guy's only got five gears. So fourth, back to second, first. I mean first. Okay. Uh, reverse. So it's not word of a lie, I'm actually shifting. You probably can hear it in the background. Uh, okay, so now we're gonna hit spacebar and you want to have similar settings to this. Uh, yeah, about yeah, 55 is good. Do that. So if you follow these settings here, uh, it should be all good. That's for drifting. It do that does not work very well for some strange reason. I, check, I was playing with this uh, and uh, yeah, it's not too good as well. Anyway, the most important bit is here. You want to turn the sensitivity down if you want to have most realistic to about 15. You want to have 15 centering spring strength. You, if you select it to use by the game in your program, then use this to scale up. If not, the game will not use this setup and it will actually use the setup that you have it on your wheel in the program so well, let's put it a wheel I'm gonna start turning the wheel and that's almost almost a full lock on a wheel same this way spinning almost a full lock on my on my uh, G29 let's have a quick drift no no control no power anyway as bad my driving is because it's, it's not 100% how you would like it actually to have it in other games like I set a course I get a setup I can slide the car all day any day or oh, life for speed but in here because that force feedback doesn't work that well as it should which we can't we only can blame the developers if the game been out like for what eight months now almost November in what April almost a few days so yeah, that's quite quite a bit of time really before they're actually you know sorting anything out. That's that's not good if you're asking me. Taking way too much time. Anyway, guys, 
thanks for watching this bullshit. I hope this tutorial enjoy it will help you a lot. Because I spent hours researching this. Where, you know, how to fucking how to do this shit. But anyway, thanks for watching. Drop the like, comment and subscribe for more bullshit content like this. For now, peace. <laughs>